Good morning, everyone. I just thought of making a quick video uh, for online meetings. So um, in case you have a Google Classroom already set up, it's going to be pretty easy for you. You can just click on uh, start Google uh, Meet for class and it should start up. In case you don't have a Google Classroom set up, what you can do is you can sign into your Gmail, uh, sign into your SQV mail using Google. Click on these Google Apps icon and select Meets. Once you do select Meet, this is the page that you will end up on. You can click on New Meeting. You can either schedule a meeting for later or start an instant meeting. And once it does, this is the page that opens up. Um, you can make sure that your camera, your mic and everything is working. Now, how do you check if your mic is working? Um, I don't have a mic right now, but um, if your mic is working, you can actually see that uh, this icon moving or some sort of animation. That means your computer is picking up your voice. Now, something that I did notice today morning was with some teachers, when they click on I add others, um, they would usually paste in their student email addresses here. And once they click on send email, uh, we notice that some of the students don't receive, uh, students don't receive this email, the invitation email. So I'm not entirely sure why, uh, but just as a precaution, I would suggest you copy the meet info. So what you have to do is click on this icon and open up your email, uh, click on compose and you can paste the, so if I click on paste, it's gonna paste, uh, I'm just gonna erase everything. And if I click on paste, you're gonna get this. Now there is some extra information. You can just erase that. What's most important is the link. So you have the link right here. And yeah, so you can paste your student email addresses in the BCC field. You can give a subject saying online class, please join, and you can send it. So that's using Google, uh, Google Meets. And in case you forgot, um, you can click on this icon right here and you can either share your tab, window or entire screen. You can select it and click share. Now, in case you want to use uh, Microsoft Teams, uh, what you first have to do is go to Google and, um, and type in MS Teams. You can click on sign in Microsoft Teams. Once you click on this, this is the window you'll come up. I mean, this is the website you'll come into. You can click on sign in um, and then uh, you'll type in your full email address. You'll click next. And then once you do click next, um, this is the page you will end up on. So you will be in Teams. Um, so in case you want to create an online class, you can just, uh, if you have, if you want to set up a team, you can set up a team, you can create a class. But if you just want to use it for an online meeting for the class, you can click on view more apps and click on meet. And then um, you can click on meet now. You can, so you can click on plus new meeting for a meeting for a later time. Or if you want to have a meeting right now, you can click on meet now and click on start meeting. And um, yeah, so you can make sure your camera is okay and your computer audio is fine. Like I said before, I don't have any camera or mic, so it doesn't actually show. So once I'm satisfied with it, I can click on join now. And this is the uh, online meeting environment in my MS Teams. Um, now, if you want to add people, you can simply click uh, show participants. And what you can do is you could just copy your student emails and uh, paste it. Um, or what you can do is you could just simply copy the joining info. Um, so if you click on more, um, you can click on meeting info, click on copy join info, and you can email them, um, you can send them an email. So, uh, so I'm just gonna paste it. Oh yeah, there we go. It's already pasted. Um, and then, um, yeah, so uh, they could either just click on the link and then join the meeting. And yeah, it's just like Google Meet. They can click on share. I mean, you can click on share. Um, you have two options. So you can share your screen, window, or tab, or use Microsoft Whiteboard. So most probably you'll be using this. You can use the first option, just like in Google Meet, you can select 
which window uh, which window or the, your entire screen uh, you can select it and click share and you should be sharing your screen uh, yeah I hope uh, yeah uh, I hope I, it's not confusing yeah 